What's going on you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia and I'm in mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every day. And today I wanted to talk to you. I want to talk to you a bit about the diagnosis process for borderline personality disorder. Don't let me drown. So yes, yeah, so like I said in the intro, I'm filming a video today talking about the diagnosis process for borderline personality disorder. Now, I've talked a bit about my experience before when I got diagnosed with BPD and how that went down. Long story very short, multiple overdoses, a &E, mental health, that, and then I got diagnosed. The longer it is, throughout my life I've been very unstable. When I say unstable, I mean I could go from raging to crying to laughing to trying to kill myself within a matter of hours. The switches that I experienced were very rapid and intense and I didn't really understand why. In my childhood I was never brought up learning about mental health or taught that it was even a thing. I learned all that when I went to school and I learned about it through friendships and through the internet. Borderline personality disorder's meaning as a, as a diagnosis has changed throughout our history. Of course people get it confused and don't fully understand it. Which is why there is so much stigma today. There is so much stigma around this disorder because it's changed. The definition of it has changed. So what is the diagnosis process? The diagnosis process for borderline personality disorder is you have to show a very clear path of instability, of emotion dysregulation, of trauma of very impulsive behaviours and a lot of suicide attempts. Self-harm is also very common among people with borderline personality disorder. I know this as someone who has it themselves and who knows other people with them. Obviously it varies person to person. There's not a specific way to get diagnosed, though it can only be diagnosed by mental health professionals and people who are trained in mental health. A generalised practitioner, also known as a family doctor, is not capable of diagnosing borderline personality disorder as it's a complex mental health condition. And yes, sometimes they get it wrong. I myself have been wrongly diagnosed in the past, and I know other people have too. Borderline personality disorder is often confused with bipolar disorder. When people think of rapid mood changes and instability, they think of bipolar disorder. People see borderline personality disorder as a personality defect, and it's not. Borderline personality disorder stems from emotional trauma usually stems from having an unstable life. If you have an unstable upbringing, you're more prone to borderline personality disorder. Obviously, these are not all the criteria for borderline personality disorder. I am not a professional, nor am I trying to be. I'm simply using my own experience and research to make this video. Borderline personality disorder is a diagnosis that's feared, that is misunderstood. People in the professional field don't know how to treat it. There's no set way to recover from borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder often co-occurs with many other mental health conditions, the most common of which being PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, again stemming from trauma. It's often central when it comes to borderline personality disorder. My childhood was so unstable and I've sat harmed most of my life. I attempted suicide an unbelievable amount of times before I was diagnosed. And when I was it, I think when you actually read into what borderline personality disorder actually is, it makes more sense. It's not just emotional instability, it's not just suicide attempts, it's deep and it's emotional and it's hard. There's no licensed medication to take for borderline personality disorder. There is a form of therapy that is thought to be one of the best ways of treating this disorder and that is dialectual behavioural therapy, also known as DBT. We often get called attention seekers. I remember once I was sat in an A&E department, probably for the third time that week after trying to kill myself, and the a &E doctor said, why are you trying to get our attention like this? Truth be told, I wanted to die. And I think that's the big misconception and the most dangerous misconception when it comes to a borderline personality disorder. People assume people don't want to actually die, they assume that suicide attempts are just to get attention and it couldn't be fair from the truth. People with BPD have difficulty showing their emotions. It's emotional integration. We just <laughs> we slide our emotions slide between one and another and our personality type changes from one to another depending on who we're with. It's so prone to very quick mood changes and the slightest thing can zip us off. We're very easily triggered, but that doesn't mean our emotions are invalid. But this has been a bit of a brief overview of... But yeah, thank you for watching. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button as it would mean the absolute world to me. I'm aiming to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and we're getting so close now and... It would mean the world to me if you click the subscribe button and ring that little notification bell while you're down there. Leave a comment of any video requests or any experiences you've had or any questions you have for me and I'll answer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.